Not sure if CPU mining is profitable or not? Well, we're about to find out. Welcome everyone, Rabbit here. Welcome to the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a good day today. These are my two dedicated CPU mining rigs. Now, I do say dedicated. We do have three CPU mining rigs, but our workstation is only used for mining when I'm not either rendering a video, making a video for my gaming channel, or ultimately playing the game. But yeah, we're gonna be looking at some CPU mining profits here. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and like button. Make sure you catch our live streams on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays at noon my time, which is mountain time. So stay tuned for that. So that's about two o'clock Eastern. Anyway, so let's get into this. We do have two CPU mining rigs here. These two are the dedicated ones and they are 3900X CPUs. And we will be adding on a third dedicated rig, which will be running 24 seven as well. And we'll probably be plotting some Chia on it while we mine. So we'll see how that goes when the time comes, but we are waiting for pools for that. But we are gonna be setting up a third dedicated mining rig. We got our CPU here. We got our motherboard here. All we have, we got some uh, PSUs over there. We're just waiting on our RAM to finally show up. Then we will be building this bad boy and probably turning these sideways or something and stuffing it in the middle and have a big trio going on right here. So yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, I guess we'll get into this and let's go take a look at some profits and see if it is even worth mining on a CPU these days. So here we are. We got our calculator open. We got our blank notepad open. I do have uh, three separate wallets open because we did do a couple tests throughout this past month, like our three-way most profitable coin thing where you, we used one CPU on Monero Ocean. We used one on XLA, which is Scala, and we used another one on Virus Coin. We also did a one-week test of solo, of solo mining virus coin and ultimately we also mostly mine to Monero Ocean with all three so we got to go through all these wallets kind of add it up and see exactly what we're sitting at so we're going to start with Scala here with it which is uh, XLA so 23 days ago all you can see we do have 53,000 this is not from all this these are all from a long time as you can see 10 months ago 10 months ago that's from quite a while ago but for our one when we did that one week test we did end up with 7658.7 Scala so ultimately I'm going to have to copy this if it lets me. So I'm just going to copy that. Control C. And we are going to put this into here. We're going to go XLA. And boom. So yeah, it did do that. So we're going to figure out how much uh, 7,658.7 XLA is. I went over to CoinGecko here. And I just punched XLA in. And it came out to $2.97.8 of a tenth of a cent. So I went $2.98. So we are at... $2.98 on XLA. That was for the one week for this past month. So we got to add that in there. So that is set. Next up, we do have Virus Coin because we did do, uh, that's not Virus, right here. So we did do that one week solo test. This was also one of the coins during that test. So we have all our payments from those two points there. So it looks like we are sitting at 36.89 Virus Coin, but it does work out to be $48.71. So we're just going to go uh virus coin here and we will put in our dollar amount which was forty eight dollars and seventy one cents so we're gonna go forty eight dollars and seventy one cents so remember this is all usd as well so that's virus coin now next we do have uh xmr which is through monero ocean which is a profit switching pool you can see right here uh this is profit switching it mines all sorts of different algorithms if you're not sure which algorithms it is, you can just click on coins here, and here you can see which all the coins are. So you can have RX series of ARQ, BLOC, uh, CCX, D, Dero, ATH, a whole bunch of different coins here, as you can just see yourself and what the algorithms are. These are the algorithms beside them. So ultimately, if your CPU or GPU, depending what you are using on this pool, uh, when it swaps out an algorithm, this is the coin for it. So you can see Panthera here is XLA. CN Heavy is what it mostly mines, XHV. Uh, and that is, I believe, it's an ERC-20 Ethereum-based token. So when Ethereum does good, ultimately this does good. And really, you, do, you want this coin to be doing good because it is a very power-efficient uh, algorithm to use. It hardly uses any power. So... That is a good thing when it does come down to it. Ultimately, RxWoww is the pretty much second best. And we also have everyone's uh, Monero favorite, which is Random X for CPUs. But those two do use a lot more power over CN Heavy. 
Anyway, I just wanted to point that out right quick. So we're just going to take a look at how much we actually got in XMR through CPU mining. Here we are in uh, what I use for XMR. This is Exodus. It is ultimately, if you're not sure what Exodus is, it has a numerous, a whole bunch of different coins in it. And I do use it like Ravencoin. I use this for a Ravencoin address. Uh, there's XRP if you're a thing for XRP. Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, ultimately has most of the major coins. So I'm going to go into XMR here, which is Monero. If you are unaware, but I'm pretty sure you are. We're going to look for the last month here. Could go a little bit past, but... So we did get a payment on May 1st, so that means it would have zeroed off there. So we're going to go to the next one. And what's really like about this too, like we'll just look at May 1st right quick. And you can see right now what that payout, this payout here of 0 0.09, right now it is worth $31.67. But at the time of the, this is in Canadian, obviously CAD. But at the time, it was actually worth fifty-one dollars and eighty-three cents. So just from the price drop, you can see that we've already lost like twenty bucks on our mining profits in Canadian funds. But ultimately, we're gonna add all this up in USD, compare it, and I'll transfer everything over to Canada at the end, so I know my specific profits. But you can also see what your guys' would have been in USD. So I added up uh, all those transactions for the past month and it works out to 0.51. Now there's one more thing we do still have to add in here and that is our actual one where the currently one that we're waiting for a payout on. So I'm going to, why am I going to what to mine? Sorry guys, I'm just messing everything right up. I tend to do that at times. Uh, if you do watch my live streams, you'll know that. So we do got to add uh, 0.089382. So 0.08. And then you cannot copy and paste and all that stuff before you guys even say anything in the comments. It does not work on this calculator, so it doesn't. <laughs> okay, 0 0.089, so 0 0.089, uh, 0 0.089382. So we're going to go with 382. So we have a total of 0 0.6081, blah, 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 all the way down. So now we can copy this. This is what we have so far. So we're going to add this to XMR. So we got that much XMR and we got to figure out how much it costs. So we're going to type in to figure out what uh, XMR to USD is here. XMR to USD. Find CoinGecko or whatever pops up. So there's CoinGecko and we're ultimately going to plug that in. So that is $159.34. And we'll keep it rounded down because obviously the words of math, it is underneath. So 159.34. Where is our little ordeal here? So money sign, $159.34. So now I'll just add everything up right there. So I added it all up and this is what we came out to be. So it was $159.34 of XMR that we did mine. Now that brought us to a grand total of $211.03 USD. Now, that also brings us in Canadian funds, 256. Now, a lot of people are saying, did you calculate power into it? No, we did not calculate power into it. So we're going to figure that out right quick right now. Okay, so here are some new numbers that we got. So our power costs, our rig, if you saw our tweaking videos, we had these down at 3.6 gigahertz at 0 0.95 volts. Worked out to be 109 watts per rig while CPU mining. So 109 watts times three. Now this is if you're mining XMR directly. Ultimately, it could be even less because of, um, you know, mostly mine CN heavy, but I just went off that because this is like the max amount of power used. So we're basing off the max here. So that's 327 watts for three rigs every day. And remember the second rig, one rig there is our workstation, which isn't on all the time. Ultimately, it hardly mined XMR, but we're going to go with the max amount of power here just, you know, just to leave that on the table to show you that how much power we use and what the profits actually were. So for 30 days, that did come out to be $23.54 for the month of power at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So our new net total now is $187 and $187.49 USD or $227.89 Canadian. That is at today's current prices. Ultimately, if I would have made this uh, last month, it would be almost, uh, yeah, well, pretty much doubled. So we would have been like doubled what we are now. So almost $500 Canadian and almost $400 USD in one month. So that's not, not too bad. I know you're thinking, okay, but it's CPU mining, it's expensive. Now, I think thought you'd probably ask that question so i'm going to answer that for you right now it's not as bad as you actually think ultimately i'm not encouraging anyone to get into cpu mining if you're not comfortable with it ultimately the less people on it the better for us people that actually like cpu mining because then the difficulty won't go up like we're going to have this issue here come into play with uh 
the merge happening with GPUs. But anyway, so the cost to build this for me was about $800 per rig. I found everything used, nice cheap prices. So that is about the same as, say, a 3060 Ti in Canada here. So I just put that in, three 3060 Ti's. We calculated that out. So we're looking at $9.93 a day. Okay, sounds good. Let's just find our calculator. We're going to punch in $9.93 after power times that by 30. So in one month, 33060 Ti's are making $2.297.09 USD. So, okay, so $2 or bleh, sorry about that. <laughs> $297. We're just going to punch that in here. Bring that down. Drop that. So, a uh, little under. So you're making like $90 more on a, on three GPUs, 3060 Ti's, and you are CPU mining. That's quite interesting. That is pretty close if you think about it. Now, what's going to happen when the merge happens and all those GPU mineable coins tank? That hash rate is not going to affect CPUs. You kind of see where I'm going at? Right now, CPUs are really cheap. You can get them on the used market and not have to worry. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Just a little thing I wanted to point out there. A lot of people don't really look at things, these angles, but... This is just me. I don't mind CPU mining a lot. I, I enjoy it. It's a lot more fun to tune. It's a little harder and more difficult than tuning a GPU, but in the end, it I like it, and it's a lot more fun. So I hope this guy's uh, kind of helped you guys out a little bit on CPU mining profits and what it could look like compared to GPUs. So this cost to build is about the same amount as a 3060 Ti. If you find it decently on the used market like I have, you've seen my past videos, and that's what it is. So there we are. For our after power gains, I made $187.49 USD and $227.89 Canadian. We did not work we were not on the most profitable coin the whole time either. We were jumping around. We tried solo mining. We tried each CPU on different things for the past month. So who knows what our profits actually would have looked like if the profitability was still high and what the profits would look like if we actually maintained the exact uh, most profitable coin for the whole month. Things could look a little different. Possibly maybe we we're only making like an extra $40 on a GPU for the same price to price ratio. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to point that out. Ultimately, yeah, uh, another thing, like I did say, 109 watts per rig. That is less power than what a 3060 Ti actually uses. But it doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of different do factors do come into play. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watched most of it and not just skip to the end like most of you probably actually did do just to see the profits and missed half the explanations and may even ask me in the comments about what and what that we did go through. Anyway, I just want to say again, thank you for watching, guys. Love you all. Hit that subscribe button, like button. I'll catch you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching one of these other videos, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We do a live stream every Sunday and Discord link is in the description as well. Thanks everybody again and Rabbit out.